to another power. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So what we've talked about, you know, we've pretty much are going through all of the all of the rules of exponents again, but now just with rational expressions. So now when you raise an exponent to a power, you simply multiply the powers. So here, again, I'm just going to have this negative. So this is going to be 8 to the 5 fourths times 6 fifths. Now you guys should like multiplication of fractions because multiplication of fractions is very simple. You simply just multiply the powers. However, um, please do not get confused with cross multiplication. We are not multiplying cross. You multiply straight across, right? We're not doing cross multiplication. So therefore, negative 8, 5 times 6 is 30, 4 times 5 is 20. I can reduce that fraction, right, to negative 8 to the 3 halves power. Then I can simply rewrite this as um, negative 8, oops, as the square root of 8 cubed, which we would be. I don't know my calculator. My calculator. I don't know what 8 cubed is. No, not my yellow one. Hmm. So anyway, this would be 8 times 8 times 8, which would be 512. And then, obviously, I'm assuming uh, Yes. Yeah. And then we could actually break this up into negative square root of 64 times 8. Square root of 64 is 8 times the square root of 8, which can be broken down into negative 8 times 2, square root of 2. So your final answer is negative 16 times square root of 2. That would actually be your a full simplified answer. However, ladies and gentlemen, just for right now, what I mean, my, my, main mode of my main focus right now is for you guys to understand this as that, and then for you guys to be able to read it, write it like that. Okay? This is pretty much an extension that um, you guys should be aware of, and it really will kind of, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna have any problems like that on your.